project web uh, website for those who are unable to attend uh, the Zoom event live. Okay. Who would like to. 呃，我们告诉大家一下，今天晚上我们的这个是呃来进行录音，呃那个录音跟录像，如果说有什么呃需要的话，呃让其他没有参加的人的话，我们可以把它呃放到网站上面，让他们来来看。如果你不想在上面出现你的。If you have any questions or issues, this video, in the course of the meeting, about Zoom features, please contact the host or co-host. 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 Please contact the host Um, for starting to stop the video, um, and then there's also uh, a little speech bubble there, uh, allows you to access the chat. Uh, um, you can also raise your hand, um, if you have questions, uh, we can have any breakout rooms, uh, and that is under the reaction of the host microphone. So I think that is it for um, our housekeeping section, um, so I'll talk about the rest of our housekeeping section. So I'll talk about the rest of our housekeeping section, so I'll talk about the rest of our housekeeping section. Great. Thank you very much, William. So my name is Matt Moran. I work for the Transportation Department, and we have a team here called the Transit Team. So we coordinate closely with the MBTA on making transit better on our city streets, and that usually means making things better for buses, light rail, and access stations. So we're excited to be here today to talk about this important project and get your feedback, your opinions about this quarter study. So next slide. So a little bit about the agenda for today. So today we are going to talk a little about the challenges we're trying to solve. We need to solve the border. What will the experience be like? We need to assess what street elements will go into these routes. And then next steps and timeline. All about the study context. Next slide. Next slide. Uh, so a few things about the project goals. So first and foremost, we are looking to prioritize transit and support transit transportation in downtown Boston. We are hoping to support residential and business growth in downtown and seaport. And we're looking to um, center this project the needs of the people who live, work, and gather here. Next slide. And this project really you know, didn't come out of a sort of recent effort or a recent study, but it really has its origins in the last 2030, which is the city's long-range transportation action plan. And um, I'll give you a little bit more about that a little bit later. This, this project was also included in the North Station Aerial Mobility Action Plan and the South Boston Seaport Transit Plan. They will be included in future uh, plan downtown. Next slide. And of course, we're coordinating with nearby projects. So nearby public projects that we're coordinating with, including State Street, planning and design, downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects, planning and design projects, canal street planning, and downtown projects,
This was the the transportation plan got covered everything from how we get around the city, how we get around the region, and um, different policies and planning efforts that contribute to making the city more sustainable, uh, more pedestrian-friendly, more bike-friendly, more transit-friendly. And what we, what we are now is the third quarter. So we want to get your feedback about what the quarter line is going to be, the specific streets and quarters that we're going to be uh, using for this quarter. And then once we have general consensus around this quarter line, we can move into concept design, and eventually detailed design, and eventually construction. So we're well over a year away from any sort of final decision around the quarter design or planning to go into uh, the final design and eventually construction. Next slide. And then what's the project scope? So we are really looking at this project at, uh, infrastructure improvements between North North Station and South Station with continuing service on to the seaport through additional planning facility uh, working on. And we're coordinating closely with the MBTA with us to redesign to make sure that we get the order uh, and why are we focusing so much on transit? So, well, at the end of the day, there is a significant amount of development that will go into a minute in downtown. There are people who are returning to downtown from, um, you know, after you know, the pandemic sort of runs its course. And we know that we need to prioritize the most efficient use of our space for, um, for people who are coming downtown. We simply can't continue on with uh, using the cars in downtown as we have today. So this graphic I think is interesting on the right shows a sort of same roadway space for 50 people. Um, so if they were pedestrians, cyclists, on a bus, or people in roughly 33 cars. So as you can see, transit is a much more efficient use of our city space and city streets, and that's why we want to prioritize things like transit. Next slide. So what are our challenges that we've identified? Uh, next slide. So we so started looking at these challenges through an in-depth review of the data, looked at some past plan, policies, and programs, um, like past 2030, uh, plan downtown, and so forth, through looking at past community engagement, past community engagement has happened in the last few years, and then talking through uh, with stakeholders understanding what their needs are. Next slide. And we have a few main areas that we really want to highlight. First are missing cross-town connections. Next are our transit service reliability and legibility. Next are our neighborhood characteristics. And last are ADA accessibility issues. Next slide. So the first and foremost reason why we're looking at this study is it really takes a long time to go from North Station to the Seaport District um, for a relatively short geographical distance. Right, it's two miles. And it takes about 26 minutes during the peak period to make that trip on transit today. That typically requires two transfers, and as you can imagine, the reliability of that connection is very, very um, different depending upon when you go how much passengers are. So um, again, going between North Station, Post Office Square, South Station, and points in between is time consuming, and also connecting at major transit hubs like North Station, Haymarket, and State Street is, again, unreliable. Next slide. We also know there are various um, missing cross-country bike routes that are not particularly comfortable today. Um, so we can reach many key downtown destinations, destinations. And we know that there's demand for downtown blue bike stations and uh, strips of uh, supply. Um, and we know that there are issues with the existing downtown bus network. So the first thing is the traffic congestion typically leads to a lack of reliability with the downtown bus system. We know the downtown bus network today is difficult to understand. So the stops are scattered throughout the neighborhood and very few routes actually continue from the north to the south or vice versa. So if you're trying to move through downtown on a bus, it's probably out of luck because most buses today act as feeder services to the rapid as opposed to serving cross town connections. graphic on the right shows the frequency of buses that are coming into downtown. And as you can see, most of the buses that come circulate through downtown, the one route, um, are really focused on those and in terms of growth, we know that um, there's been a vast amount of growth, particularly in the seaport district over the last um, 10 years, and we anticipate that will continue through at least 2030. 
So when we first started looking at population sizes, we know that in 2013 there were about 11,000 people that lived in the greater Sichuan area, which included. Which is in, in this analysis includes the census tracts in the area of West Broadway and West Broadway, Street, but still within sort of that greater seaport area. And we anticipate that number will be about 31,000 by the time the um, district is fully built out. So this will be a neighborhood that's larger in population than um, the populations of Austin, Rosendale, uh, Back Bay, Uh, we also know that there is a transfer of growth jobs. So by 2030, the Seaport District will be the second largest jobs hub in the entire state. So it's smaller than downtown. Um, we'll have 89,000 jobs compared to 178,000 in downtown, but far more than the back bay, 52,000 jobs in the back bay. So again, that job growth has also outpaced the um, previous projections that we had, and it's a number that we think will be, um, you know, we'll be willing to accommodate through better transportation systems. Next slide. And in terms of street design, we know that the neighborhood um, has a significant issue. First, our vehicles are oftentimes prioritized over transit, like in Mach, a lot of our streets are overbuilt um, in terms of what we built today for a 21st century road, which are relative to the 90s or uh, previous decades. Safety is a main concern among residents and stakeholders, you know, especially for bikes and pedestrians feel like they lack safe spaces to cross the street or move down the street. Uh, we know that traffic is frequently unpredictable. And a lot of times, the curbs or regulations that we have in downtown don't meet current needs. So, so the like drop off or loading, we know there's some mismatched needs that cause double parking and other curbside issues. And then finally, a lot of downtown pedestrian facilities lack accessible facilities for disabilities, and a lot of the public realm features lack street trees or other um, improvements that would really enhance the sort of public realm and how people uh, walk and experience the downtown area. Next slide. Um, then next we're looking at mode share. So the bulk of our priorities is really increased need to work by transit by third and drive along rates by half. So again, thinking through how we can do that is going to be critical through projects like this. Next slide. Um, so taking like sort of a business as usual approach, where we continue to prioritize cars in downtown over the uh, people and thinking through how you know, the job growth and population growth this area will continue to become congested unless we take action to improve transit connections and improve walkability, flexibility of downtown. Um, we, we really need to change the sort of strategy that we have in downtown and really focus on these things that can make downtown more um, competitive. So this slide on the right I think is interesting. It's a 1940s era transit poster showing even back then people realized if more people drove as opposed to taking transit, Downtowns and other areas will become more and more congested. And the same holds true today. We need to shift people on transit in order to make downtown more of a uh, viable uh, business place. Uh, Next slide. So uh, I'm going to talk a little bit now about our proposed quarter for improved uh, bus and multimodal accommodations. Next slide. So here's the concept corridor on the left. So we are looking at a corridor that begins at North Station along Causeway Street, um, continues to Merrimack Street, uh, past Haymarket Station, and then continues south on Congress Street, past State Street Station. And we still have to think through some of the post office square streets to, from engineering and auto turning radius analysis, but we will uh, do that in the next several months. And once we go through Post Office Square, we connect to High Street, which then connects to Summer Street and brings us to South Station. The key thing with this connection is that it enables us to connect the key transit hubs like North Station, Haymarket, State Station, and South Station. It enables us to reach major employment destinations in downtown Boston, like Post Office Square. And it also enables a 10 to 12 minute trip between North and South Stations. So. We think that trip can be reliable and predictable, and that's really the goal of this corridor and the infrastructure that we'll provide. Next slide. 
And as mentioned earlier, we are coordinating with the MTS Bus Network redesign on the proposed service enhancements. So MTA Bus Network redesign is looking at a public process that potentially could launch. The whole process will launch in the next several weeks, but the service could launch sometime in the next several years, potentially in 2023, though. That will be up to sort of how the public process goes. But we are really looking at a route that would connect from Sullivan Square into North Station through downtown into the Seaport District and then into the Seaport. So, um, the corridor that we're looking at from the infrastructure standpoint in downtown would support the key sort of node for that corridor, making that key node in the center of that corridor reliable. And what I love about this connection is that it enables people who are making cross town trips today that aren't particularly reliable, aren't particularly straightforward, to make these trips are much more safe. So, say, for example, you're trying to get from the convention center up to Faneuil Hall, of course, this will be a one-seat ride from uh, between those two destinations. If you are taking a train to North Station and you want to get to South Station, again, this will be a one-seat ride. If you're a person from the South Boston neighborhood who wants to travel to a Celtics game, again, this is now a new one-seat ride. So. I think we're excited for what this so activity could offer in a way that current connections within and through downtown uh, don't currently have. Next slide. We are also coordinating closely with our transportation team to take through the downtown uh, bike connections. Uh, so in particular, we want to uh, focus on bike connections from um, the seaport and the greenway to reach new biking borders and sort of existing biking borders that are on Tremont Street, Washington Street, and uh, Cambridge Street. And I think that we want to make sure that uh, we work in a way that is uh, allows for this predictable to, um, you know, sort of to be built out and enables us to have a uh, holistic you know, approach to multimodal planning in downtown. Uh, so now I'm going to turn over to my colleague, uh, Maya, who is going to talk a little bit about what the experience will be like in this bus corridor. Um, so, Maya, please take care. Thanks, Matt. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Maya, and I'm a planner uh, here on the transit team. Uh, um, so I just wanted to talk about what we imagine this experience will be like on the uh, Next slide, please. Uh, so these are some example images that we are drawing inspiration from. Obviously, these are not Boston, so our corridor will not look the same as this. But, um, first, I just wanted to talk about what your experience of walking to the bus stop will be. Um, you would like to make pedestrian improvements on the sidewalk so that everybody with a disability is able to comfortably reach the bus stop. Once you reach your bus stop, you know that you'll be waiting in a shelter, so you're covered from the elements. And these shelters will have real-time arrival signs, so you know that once you arrive at your shelter, your bus will be arriving in, say, five minutes. And you'll see that on the screen, and as the bus comes closer, that time will count down. Next slide, please. We also know that these stations are going to be in the middle of the city. We also know that these stations are going to be in the middle of the city. There will be covered shelters for you, and there will also be covered shelters for you. I'm sorry, one moment. Next slide, please. Um, so you'll be able to board the buses able to board the buses in a timely manner, and you know that your bus will take you to your destination in a timely manner. Uh, next slide, please. With bus priority lanes, uh, like the one pictured here, buses won't get caught in the same downtown traffic that we've all experienced before. So like Matt mentioned, you'll be able to board the bus in a timely manner. Um, on that journey from the station to the bus stop, that currently takes you to Seaport, you'll be able to board the bus in a timely manner. And you know that your bus will take you to your destination in a timely manner. So like Matt mentioned earlier, you'll be able to board the bus in a timely manner. And if you're stopping anywhere in between, you'll be able to enjoy um, the pedestrian improvements, so you'll be walking along more comfortable sidewalks. So it's uh, we would like to know the amount of trees and more greenery. Including including the and work with our architects to make sure that these stations look nice and 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 look nice and
Um, obviously, this is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. This is a very big vision that we have. And then maintenance. Um, if these stations are going to be as unique as we'd like them to be, they're required for maintenance, and we are definitely keeping that in mind. And then maintenance. 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 If any of you are familiar, we have them all over the city. There are some bright and lively, but bus lanes will ensure that you don't have to worry about it. So we have some bright and lively, but bus lanes will ensure that you don't have to worry about it. So we have some bright and lively, but bus lanes will ensure that you don't have to worry about it. So we have some bright and lively, but bus lanes will ensure that you don't have to worry about it. So we have some bright and lively, but bus lanes will ensure that you don't have to worry about it. So we have some bright and lively, but bus lanes will ensure that you don't have to worry about it. So we have some bright and lively, but bus lanes will ensure that you don't have to worry about it. So we have some bright and lively, but bus lanes will ensure that you don't have to worry about it. 在这个一到呃，在堵车。呃，所有的这个，所有的这种车站上面，我们尽刚刚就讲了，尽量是对，尽尽量的呃，车站上面都会有座位，也很容易能够找到。如果是在如果是在这个当趟我们在中间谁会来用这个公车的话，都应该很容易能够找到。该自己应该知道应该应该往什么地方去啊？这样上面。应该有灯在那里，中间有这种安全，保持安静的这种。还有中间有这种紧急按钮，这种东西上面都会有。所以这些是我们在所有的这类这种新的这种车站上面所有的这种钥匙。这不是我们所有的可能，绝对是这个样子，但应该大部分就是这个车站就像这个样子。Transfer points, um, like Matt mentioned, there are a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether that's other buses or the subway system, there's a lot of really important transfer points downtown. Whether
And then loading and deliveries, like I mentioned, uh, there are a lot of folks who need to do loading and receive deliveries downtown. So we are coordinating with businesses on route to figure out where they get their deliveries and potentially make changes to our curb use to make sure that they can get their deliveries in a safe manner. 能够在很安全的进行来进行这样的服务。啊、uh, ，maintenance， like I mentioned， 在维护呢，就像我们在中间提到的，我们就感到一，在经独立的这样的维护的这样的合同，给感到更。特别是，如果在下雪的话，增加的话，能够及时的能够把雪能够降到这样的话，嗯，能够，所以这种公共艺术啊，公共这个区域呢，都不能够经常得到维护，所有的是是在所有的中间还需要哪些东西能够加入加进去？ Next steps. I'm going to hand it back to Matt. Awesome. Thanks so much, Maya. Matt, so I just want to go through some next steps with you all, and then we'll go into the groups. So, 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 um, we're also going to be having some pop-up events at North and South Station, which are going to be people who might not have been a part of this process before, but might not have been a part of this process before, but might not have been a part of this process before, but might not have been a part of this process before. And then once we sort of get all the feedback we hear from the community and the other discussions we've had today, we'll confirm the city leadership that the direction we want to head in in terms of bus priority and multi-mode improvements is in fact where we're going on sort of this next, for this next phase of design. Once we get that confirmation, we will begin a concept plan for the select board. So we'll include architecture, level civil engineering, and a transportation analysis to make sure that we are factoring all of the ins and outs and that we will be important to this project before really getting into detailed design. So if we have to, say, move a station stop by a block, we want to have very detailed engineering design for it if, you know, again, we can hear negative feedback from stakeholders around that idea. Once we sort of have a good working concept plan, which we can solve, we'll be able to come back out to the public, have more stakeholder conversations around this concept plan, and then um, hopefully move into later stages of design by the later part of this year, early 2023. And um, once we get further confirmation around of what it takes to design, you know, the 25% uh, stage of design, as we would call it, moving to um, later stages, 75% PSME, which are all uh, jargony engineering terms, but um, sort of important to understand the context for the process that we're about to embark on. Next slide. Uh, so thank you very much. Really appreciate your time tonight. And, um, we'd love to hear your feedback, and we're going to move into some uh, breakout groups now. So you can go to the next slide. Uh, your breakout hosts will have a series of questions. We're using these as guides, so if you have additional questions, feedback, things don't really fit into these questions, we'd love to hear that as well. We'll be in these breakout groups for. We will be able to uh, shift into um, sort of feedback mode from um, the, the panel host. After that, um, we welcome any additional questions, comments, feedback as well. We're here to listen and to get your opinions. So, um, yeah, with that, I guess I would ask that we go into potentially um, three breakout groups. So, yeah, that process. Awesome. Thank you, Maya. Yep, you should be able to enter.